The importance of real-time data and what businesses can learn from football. We are currently experiencing a huge transformation in the world of data and AI and sports is no exception. Sports clubs are now using data much more than ever before. And one example is football, or for my American friends, soccer. What football teams now do is that they use a system called Stats, that in, they install 15 cameras or so across a football stadium. And these cameras use machine vision to monitor what is taking place on the pitch. And these systems are generating about 25 data points per second per player on the pitch. In the past, what happened is that this data was recorded and then sent to a data center where humans would analyze it and then basically say this was a successful pass. So they would code the data. This, is then, this then would then be analyzed, put together and sent to the clubs so they would have this on a Monday morning after the weekend's game and their analysts would then look at this and, and understand the insights. This is all now changing with artificial intelligence because instead of having this sent to a center to be analyzed, machines can now analyze this data in real time. So what happens is that this data is being analyzed in real time and this is the first season where assistant coaches on the sideline can use this real-time data. So you, when you watch football on a Saturday afternoon, check this out. When you watch the sidelines, you will see them with the little tablets looking at data. So they can now make real decisions on actual real-life data. So this system is giving them information on how many miles or how many kilometers each player has run and it also measures how fast they have accelerated and de decelerated and based on all of this they will, the machines will calculate a level of calorie burn and they also know how many calories a player has available so they will see that this player is starting to get to its limit, his limits and therefore might need to be substituted. So nowadays we make, these coaches make decisions on all of this data in real time they will sit together with the coach and say, okay, looks like these guys are getting tired, we might want to replace them. These guys are making, and, and again, afterwards, the decisions are much more interesting where a coach traditionally can only watch a few players. They usually follow the ball and see what, where the action is happening. These systems can monitor all 22 players or 11 players of their team all the time, so they can, understand impact of individual players on, on, on game performance in much more detail, something that a, a coach or even all the coaches together could never do. So they would try to, they would understand that there was a player that didn't score a goal all season, but he's very aggressively pushed forward, which then took some of the defenders away and then opened up a gap for someone else to score. So again, evaluating performance and impact of individual players is much more interesting and much more complex. And again, what Stats is doing now is that they are, they're creating analysis of entire teams and their, their playing philosophy and their, their playing styles, which then allows them to recruit players that really fit into this play, this, this type of play. It allows them to recruit the right coaches for these playing styles too. So this is something that businesses tend to be not great at. They, lots of data is still retrospective data and what I help organizations do is make use of more real-time insights. So this is something actually businesses can learn from sports. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.